I'm Deanne Richards, and I'm your infection preventionist. Today's topic is hand sanitizers and rubs and the common myths that follow these products. One of the myths that I've heard is that you really shouldn't use hand sanitizers, only use soap and water. While it's true that you can always use soap and water, there are certain times you have to use soap and water. That is when you prepare food, after you use the restroom, and if your hands have any visible dirt, debris, grime, or even if you've been using chemicals, you need to wash with soap and water. But the rest of the time, hand sanitizers and rubs are really effective, and here's why. As soon as you apply that product, it actually starts killing the germs immediately to the amount of 99.95% of germs immediately on contact. So it's actually extremely effective of cleaning your hands. The other myth that I've heard is that it just takes too long. Well, let's talk about it. There's only two steps to cleaning your hands when you use a hand sanitizer. It's either a squirt, open a packet, spray, or even just a pump. The second step is just wetting your hands with the product and rubbing it all over your hands until it's dry. How simple is that? And even while you're rubbing your hands, having that product dry, you could be walking down the hall, you could be doing other things at that same exact time. So it's also very quick to use. Another that I hear is that hand sanitizers will just dry out your hands. Although that was early on when they initially came out on the market, manufacturers got really smart really quick and started adding emollients or lotions to their product. So now, remember how I said when it hits your hands, it starts killing germs immediately? Well, that's that alcohol in it. What the alcohol does is kills those germs, but then it also evaporates immediately. And what it leaves behind is those lotions or emollients so that we can keep your skin in good shape so there's no open wounds where germs can get in. Another myth that I hear is that, well, don't give it to kids because if they lick their hands, they could get drunk. Couple things on that. Why are we licking our hands after we clean them? One, which we shouldn't always super kid buys kids when they're using products, absolutely. And it, But I do want you to keep in mind, it take for an adult about two mouthfuls for you to develop alcohol toxicity. So it's still a very safe product to use. The other myth that I hear is that hand sanitizers are all the same. It doesn't matter. While they come in different forms, there are two things I want you to watch for. One is the alcohol content. A hand sanitizer should have at least 60% alcohol to be effective. So I'm just gonna pull some products here. It always should be on the product label, the percentage. So this one has 70% alcohol, so it exceeds the 60. If I take another product here and take a peek at it, this one has 65.87%. So again, another product that has that content needed to actually be effective. Watch your commercial hand sanitizers that may be available from specialty stores. They may not always have 60% and they may also have additional items like litter you may not want to have left on your hands. The other item I want you to check for is the expiration date of the product. They're typically located at the lower part of the label or even on the bottom. So this one doesn't expire until March 2021. So this is a great product to continue to use, but I had to search really far back in my cabinet at home to find this product. And actually I found that this expired September of 2011. Not the best product for me to use. So in summary, hand sanitizers are very quick, they're very effective, and they're convenient to have with you so that you have the ability to clean your hands.